We're back at it here at the Baseball Brew Ha Ha. Got a cup of coffee. We've got trivia lined up for you today, some July 4th theme. We're going to bring Aaron into the studio here. Kick us off. Aaron, welcome to the studio. Happy July 4th. Thanks, Adam. You know, it's it's a crazy time right now, uh, July 4th. Everybody's out having a good time. And at the ballparks, uh, we got promos and giveaways, events happening around the 4th of July. Some of them have already come and gone. Uh, but find a ballpark near you, and perhaps you'll catch some fireworks at least after the game. Um, you know, Adam, I was looking through some of these promos, and I started to notice a connection. I don't know if you saw this, but there were so many of these things, apparently, in, uh, especially in the apparel department, that were made popular in the 90s and are making a comeback around. I feel like I've been had, you know, you know, like I was thinking about like the Super Bowl, you know, when it used to be like um, the Rolling Stones played, I'm like, oh man, it's for all the old people. And then a couple years ago, Dre and Snoop performed at the game and I was like, oh geez, I'm that guy now. <laughs> You're the old guy now. <laughs> I'm the old guy. <laughs> so that leads me to my first question. We're bringing it all in together. 90s, Dre and Snoop, keeping with that 90s, Music theme in mind here. The Phillies recently had an event after one of their home games in which what athlete slash musician performed a show after the game? Well, the only athlete that has ties to Philly like that, that would be athlete musician that I can think of is Allen Iverson, who I think did some hip hop or rap. I don't think he was big, but that's my guess. So it's not Allen Iverson. It's actually... The Diesel, oh, Shaq, Shaq Diesel, and I remember his album coming out, and uh, it was hilarious uh, because of who he is as a as a professional athlete. And I laughed when this came out. I didn't know he was still doing music. I just he's a guy on TNT. He's doing it all. Yeah. Commercials, he's doing, he's doing it all, doing it. All right, so I missed that one. So um, the July Fourth celebrations. There's a lot of um, celebrating America, also honoring the military. Um, so you can see, you saw in the in the video here, there's the flyovers. That's a very common thing. So the Washington Nat Nationals have several military type things um, mm -hmm. happening for their July 4th uh, promo day. But they're also featuring a watch party for military members stationed in all Uded Air, Air Base in what country? Well, uh, I know it's in the Middle East, uh, but I'm not familiar with this base, unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna say Turkey. The correct answer is Qatar. Um, and it, a, a cool opportunity for them, thanks to everyone um, overseas and domestic mm -hmm. in the military, fighting for our freedom. Appreciate you. And, uh, you know, on this day, remember, uh, our country and our country's freedom. Absolutely. 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 So, all right. Well, we got fireworks flown in the background and, uh, you know, 4th of July, we have fireworks, they just happen. But Adam, if you found yourself in Oakland <clears throat> on June 30th, so I'm sorry, folks, it's already happened. Um, everybody was really jumping the gun on the fourth stuff. It got out there <laughs> early. I'm telling you, I'm sorry. We, we, we this is just how it goes, you know? Um, but you would have had, if you had an opportunity to catch an A's game and stay, you could stay for a free fireworks show after. But this was not just some run of the mill, like, you know, standard fireworks show. Theirs had a theme, which was the history of what genre of music. Well, I was just in Oakland and a huge part of like the culture and the vibe in Oakland is hip hop. So I'm going to go the the history of hip hop. And that's correct. And I actually, I'm, I don't know what, I'm not from Oakland. I don't know Oakland super well. So it's not surprising to hear you say that, but at the same time, I didn't know that. I didn't know that hip hop was such a huge part of Oakland culture. So that's a, that's very cool that they're, they're uh, uh, sort of doing a, sh a fireworks shout out to the, to the genre there. Love it. Yeah. Well, you led off by mentioning apparel mm -hmm. and there's, hats galore hats shirts all the stuff but hats galore and um you know the 
the uh, green monster here for the Red Sox is sporting one of the Independence Day hats. Mm -hmm. um, but the Red Sox themselves are doing their own little hat headwear giveaway um, inspired by Chris Sale. What type of headwear are they giving away? They are giving away a bucket hat as you will. If you're a Reds fan and they're giving away a similar kind of hat, they're going to call it a floppy hat. So it's up to you. If you go to a Mariners game, you're getting a cowboy hat. So, you know, hats galore. Yeah. Or a sun hat, you know, <laughs> yeah, cool. Yes. All my three, of my three-year-old wears this kind of hat. Yeah. So, well, thanks for joining us folks. Jake, take a look down below at the scoreboard update. Second inning, Tied two to two. two. Here we Off go. To a good start. It's close. It's going to be a great week, especially with the lead up to the All Star game. Hang with us, folks. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, you have something to add? Drop it in the com comments below. Find us on Twitter. Or tweet us there. Base Brew Haha. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. See you tomorrow.